At the beginning of this poem, I make a reference to Coleridge, which is, has nothing to do with Bloomsday, really. Uh, but I thought I'd explain that first before I read the poem. Uh, this poem was an unusual experience for me because it was delivered to me like Venus on the half shelf, just whole and intact, complete. Um, and that happened in a dream. And uh, of course, uh, the uh, the poem Kubla Khan uh, came to Coleridge in the same way, and I suspect he, like like I, went running to the place where I write uh, to grab a pen and pencil and and write down the words, uh, still babbling them uh, before I could forget them to write down the words. Anyway, so that's what that odd first first stan uh, first stanza uh, refers to. Uh, the rest of the poem is all about Bloom, Bloomsday, the Odyssey. Actually, it's more of the Odyssey in in terms of the fact that uh, it talks about what actually happened that day, which I think is a nice contrast to what happened when Bloom came home. Um, uh, and not so much a contrast as a commentary, really. Uh, a harmony, a segue. Okay, so here's the poem Bloomsday. What a thing to feel to wake up before dawn at the end of Bloomsday, babbling like Coleridge, and know that Penelope is considering marriage of the second kind, and realize we have been away too long, that we must sack our own halls pretty much in disguise, and slay the traitors who have sprung up amid our own cobbles, like weeds without the gardener. Are we brave Ulysses, or just some overindulged fool that has been negligent for so long that we realize home, however humble, is, worth fight, is still worth fighting for, and we, tired, dirty, and disheveled, still have the key which opens that door. See, Bloom came home pretty beat up. He'd been in a fight, he'd been in jail, he'd been uh, in a brothel, he'd been all over the place. And he was dirty, disheveled, and, and stuff like that when he came home. So uh, we have a combination of the Odyssey uh, and what Odysseus did when he got home and what Bloom was like when he got home. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that poem.